Welcome to Elite Kobold's new ringleader. Had a lot of people say hi and uh, say that they really liked the videos uh, in the last few days and just want to say thanks. I really like hearing from you guys and uh, I'm really glad that you enjoy them. Uh, I chose this particular quest to do a video for because there may be some people out there who don't know how to farm this the quick way. This is probably the fastest XP per minute quest at this level range. This is a level 2 quest, so on Elite it's level 4. I'm level 4 now. Uh, but before I do that, uh, I just want to go over what my gearing looks like. I do have something in every slot now, unlike uh, the last video that I did for this life. Because uh, I don't really care what my gear looks mu <laughs> too much, what my, what my gear looks like uh, for level 2. But here, level 4, I've got uh, resistance 3 goggles that I crafted. And then here I have the skirmish leather. Now, I talked a lot about this uh, in other videos and in my advanced crafting video, making sure you have the highest absolute minimum level, uh, like shield and armor type, to craft onto. So it, it, for level 4, it's called skirmish leather. That's what you want to use to craft on. So I just have invulnerability and plus 1 on there. So I got DR5 slash magic. Protection 3 crafted on the bracers on the ring. Just got good luck. I didn't think too hard about this, just wanted to find something useful to put in some of these slots. Feather falling on the boots, and strength 3 on the gloves. I could have just casted uh, bull strength, but you know this way I don't have to bother with casting it. Ring of Elemental Essence. I used this in my uh, Ginger Spice uh, First Life guide, but uh, awesome low B ring for a couple of levels for a lot of a variety of different kinds of casters if you're using a caster that that has elemental spells this has glaciation combustion and magnetism 36 on it uh, minimum level three this comes out of uh, this is an end reward for the house p carnival chain it is not guaranteed to be guaranteed to be on that end reward list but maybe a 50 percent chance got con 3 on the belt with a large slot that should have spell points in it but uh, I forgot to load it up there Fjarlin mirror cloak this is another one that comes out of the carnival chain specifically party crashers uh, this is a really nice lobby item uh, it's got spell resistance 17 on it that's better than you can craft uh, for level 3 spell spell resistance 17 pretty huge There's probably nothing that's gonna break through that Still got the uh, Melee Alacrity 10% Shard. And Necklace of Contemplation is the same as the last video. And Wizardry 3 on uh, on the head slot. For shield, got the Dark Wood Shield. That's the absolute minimum level 4 version. Got Life Shield on there. Uh, thought I'd do something a little bit different this life. Life Shield's pretty nice. It gives a uh, 10% chance on being hit that I gain 10, or excuse me, 15 temporary hit points that lasts for uh, up to a minute. And then I got a plus two Acid Flame Touch Iron Scimitar of Bleeding. Now my wolf, he's got the same armor. That's plus one in vulnerability. And then for the collar, this is just something I found a long time ago, it was plus one lacerating and then I added Festival Frost to it. So it's got Slicing, bleeding, and then the 1d6 fest festival frost too. Pretty nice little twink item for a low B wolf. For enhancements, I decided to do something different this life. Uh, I thought this would be fun to go right for the Harper leadership, which gives all hirelings, summon, charm creatures, plus four to all ability scores. That includes my wolves and my summons. I have three druid past life, so that's plus six to all stats. I have augment summoning, that's another four. And I have Harper Leadership, that's another 4. That means my wolf and everything that I summon has plus 14 to all its stats. That's pretty sick. So I thought it would be fun to do. Uh, so my wolf got 35 strength, dex, and con. Uh, with an intelligence of 23, he's getting any runes uh, that I can't get. And uh, he's I think he's got a higher... Yeah, he's got a higher wisdom than I do. My wolf is a genius. So... Uh, and then if I put bears and bulls on him, now he's got a 39 strength and a 39 con. That's just off the chain. Tons of fun. For feats, uh, I, I have augment summoning, as I mentioned. I have maximized spell, not even, not even using it at this point. I just know I'm going to be using it very soon. 
and toughness. And then next level, not next level, level 6, I'll be taking extend spell for a little while, get some longer buffs, and then that'll be swapped out later on. So here what you want to do, if you want to farm this quickly, you're just going to go straight ahead, don't break these boxes, because you're going to use them to jump over. If you have bad jump, you can't, uh, can't jump over, you can't jump up and grab those boxes. So you want to make sure you leave that little crate there. really not doing any spell casting at this point. Sometimes I'll do a creeping cold uh, or uh, produce flame if it's a mob that's vulnerable to cold and show you my spells real quick. Jump, Ram's Might, Magic Fang, Bears and Bulls, Creeping Cold. Alright, get that lever. Here. Hey, Deadly Fever Blanche. That's one of the collectibles that's used in an Eldritch Ritual. That's that, 6,300 XP. Well, completion time shows seven minutes, but that's because I was yakking for most of that time. <laughs> so that's Kobold's new ring leader, the quick way. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about my videos, you can respond on YouTube. If you have any questions about my build, you can respond on the Druid forum. And if you're on Sarlona, you're welcome to send me a tell.